Look at my little wooden boy playing on his fiddle. So freaking cute. Just with that very stylish tune. Love it. So yes, another half of the Master Sword is complete, thanks to Makar. And just like with Medley, once he's in his position, he doesn't really have anything to say. He can't talk to you. He's too busy concentrating on keeping the full-fledged power of the Master Sword in check. So yeah. Yeah, both of our friends need to stay where they are. At least for now. Hey, I'm Paisanos! This is TuneGamer23, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker! So, in the last part, we wrapped up the Wind Temple, we defeated Mulgara, the giant sandworm, and Makar has successfully restored power to the Master Sword. I always love the fact that, uh, uh, Medley's Earth God's Lyric and Makar's Wind God's Aria are basically like the yin and yang of the Master Swords. It's just very symbolic. And once you, when you're an adult, you kind of find the symbolism in things. And yeah, I like to think that uh, the Master Sword has kind of like a yin and yang type of thing going with both of those songs. But anyway, now that one major task is complete, it's time for the next major task. First things first, let's step into the light. We say goodbye to our little wooden boy for good this time. Don't worry, you'll be safe. At least for the most part. At least there's no cannon boats in there for anything to harm you. So anyway, now that we've... Now comes the time for us to search for the Triforce Shards. But in order to do that, we're gonna need to find the Triforce Charts to find out where they're hidden on the ocean floor. And you may remember a few parts back that we grabbed... That we got the Incredible Chart. So let's take a look at that. So yeah, there we go. That basically pinpoints all the charts locations, and we even got Tingle's big fat ugly mug on the map, if you look closely. Okay, so the question is, where should we start? There's, there's a chart located in the north, in the far northeast corner, but I think we'll save that for later. So, I guess maybe for right now we can head to Great Fish Isle and head south from there and see where that, where that is. Right, time to rock you like a hurricane once again. Okay, so, south of Great Fish Isle, let's -a go. Twirling and twirling from one major quest to our next major quest. Obtaining the Triforce Charts. So yeah, this is basically the point at which every corner of the Great Sea is fair game. We've basically gotten each and every tool and gadget that can help us overcome any obstacle. These last two slots are just basically optional. So yes, what lies south of Great Fish Isle? Let's go there. Seems like a simple island on the horizon. But we shall soon see. Alrighty, so. Alright, ready your ammo. Now we might want to ready some baits, too, because we're wandering into new territory. We really should meet up with Beetle again. We're, we're still a little bit away from obtaining our silver membership. That really bugs me. Alright, so we head to this isle right here. An Isle of Steel. A fortified fortress. 
Alright, so, give these... Give our friends some num-nums. Just for old time's sake, okay. So spill it! Yeah, yeah, small fry, small fry, etc, etc. Okay, what is this? Islet of Steel. A perfectly circular aisle from a bird's eye view. Tell me, Small Fry, have you ever heard of the fabled set of Triumph Forks? Sure, they're in the in the silverware drawer of destiny with the Triumph spoons and the Triumph knives. And it actually took me until very recently to figure this out, but uh, uh, he probably mis misinterpreted the Triforce as Triumph Forks because he's underwater and sound doesn't travel as good un underwater. So, yeah. Well, it's right there, my young fly, on that island. You know, a chart showing you where to find them. Of course, getting... Of course, getting it's the hard part. Alright, well, we'll see how hard it is. Okay, so we got cannon boats. And... Mounted cannons. Okay, so yeah, this place is well guarded. Nothing we can't... Nothing our trusty cannon can't handle. Alright, bums away! Sink our <laughs> Sink their battleships! Okay, we're... Basically, okay, yeah, oh! Okay, so yeah, our, our, our own our own ammo betrayed us. We we're in such close proximity to that one, we basically shot ourselves into the sea. Alright, go for it! Ah! Okay, so I think I hear some angelic Do you mind? Trying to... We cannot return to Hyrule without first reforming a piece of the Triforce. It is now our duty to gather the eight Triforce shards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But work. Try my best. These gung ho. These gung ho assholes will let me. Okay, so yeah, just. No cursor, we just have to haphazardly fire our way and sink their battleships. Okay, yes, I was right. So, sunken treasure. Okay. Wrong way, wrong way. And there's even a platform out here, but uh, one step at a time. Alright, so close proximity. Alright. We've sunk their battleships! Huzzah! Now take care of the ones mounted on the wall. One of them, at least. And then we can head right inside after a little salvaging. Gah! Lucky shot. Okay, so... Nothing stands between us and that booty. Both types of booty. The one inside the fortress and the one and the ones outside. Okay, so let's see. Aha! Snag something! Alright! I always love his expression whenever there's a chest. It's like, ooh, what is it? This is a curious little kids. Just all all caught in suspense. Okay, so we're redder. Alright, so small potatoes, but every little bit helps. Because Tingle, the little weirdo, is going to be our decipherer for these charts. The Dang it. Okay, so... So we gotta switch between the sail, the bombs, and the grappling hook. Okay, perfect. Okay, yeah, whenever this tech, 
whenever the Great Sea turns into this kind of texture with the white ripples, that's perfect for treasure hunting. Because you can pinpoint exactly where the ring is. If you look at it from afar. And another runner! So yeah, these the monsters piloting the ships weren't very aren't very lucrative, but like I said, every penny helps. Okay. And that lays one. Gladly help ourselves to some more major booty. Okay, gimme, gimme, gimme! Give me that glorious treasure hidden beneath. Okay. Up from the briny blue comes another chest. Now there is a cinematic where uh, he does grapple onto uh, like a Octorok urn, like junk, like junk from the depths, but I've never actually seen it for myself. In, in gameplay. I've seen it online, but uh, not not during the game, so. Right, in we go, to the Islet of Steel. River fortified this, this place is anyone's guess. But whatever, inside is a sacred shrine with the Triforce emblem. The Hyrulean crest with the Triforce and the wings of a loft wing. An ancient species which I've pretty much. which only appears in Skyward Sword before there was ever a Hyrule or an order on this planet. But that's another story. And Mula! Spanduli de Niro! Lots of it! Alright, so yeah, time to conduct wind where there's no wind in sight. Unless Goody needs to fart. <laughs> so. Okay, so. I'll, yeah, just juvenile jokes aside, here we go! Another cool display of that Triforce emblem. Yeah, I love that animation. Really do. Alright. Behold! Our very first... Wait for it. Triforce chart! Got a Triforce chart. You can't read it yourself, so you'll have to get it deciphered somewhere. But yeah, alas. This... This map must be interpreted before you can read it. So, yeah. Oh well. Alright, so one down, seven to go. Now, a couple of them are involve some pretty lengthy, uh, lengthy lengths to get. One of them involves conquering a massive labyrinth of 51 floors. Well, technically you only need to conquer 30 of them, but, uh, uh-oh. Cannons are ever turned. And Kargorox, ooh! What do I? All right. Yeah. Yeah, fine feathered fiends also inhabit this island. Alright, so yeah. No, oh, come on, start faster! Ah! Okay, hold still. Oh, come on! Ah, you stinking. Stinking bird brain! Hey, uh, come on. Pick me again, I'm... He's... Okay, where is he? Ooh! Carlo rejects this one. 
I swear I'm gonna slash him and slash him a new one. Okay, so. Okay, so. Just balance uh, another pair in our head like an idiot. And see if there's anything uh, up top. Aside from some ominous feathered creatures. Oh, Bokoblins? Right up there? Okay, so yeah, we got competition. So, like the... Okay! Oh, you got me! Okay, so... Death! Ah, not again! Get you! Just... Ah, I'm out of here! I'm out of here! Just... Let's just return to Windfall and get like a couple more picks for Karlov and then we'll call it quits. Alright, so yeah, these bits will be more reasonable than uh, in the dungeons. Seriously, there was a... I've seen so many Let's Plays online about uh, people clearing the dungeon and the whole dungeon in less than an hour. But uh, with me just getting distracted by all the details and all that, it's just not that easy for me. Okay, so looks like we're just going to have to swim our way to shore. Okay, so I don't think we got a pick of Disco Guy. So, let's... Yeah, just... He's still trying to do the Song of Passing. Oh my gosh, that's priceless. Okay. Okay, so I don't think... Uh... Gotta try to get him head on. Alright, so, that's close enough. Alrighty, so... There... Okay, so, the town's not as lively at night time, obviously. And there's that girl. She seems familiar. And yet, she seems different somehow. Okay, so there's got to be somebody out here at night time. If not, I'll probably just uh, drop in on Miss Marie. Gotta uh, get something from her anyway, so. Alright, so yeah, her ba basically she's still in her... She's basically still in school even at night time. Oh, the two little girls are here too. All right, so now yeah, you know what I'll save it for the next part. I got what I needed, so okay, okay. Well, might as well just get it over with. We're here, so I'll make the next part at least a little bit quicker. <laughs> Oh, you're the fine young gentleman who gave me the joy pendant present. How can I forget? How many did you give me again? One? My, but wasn't that nice. So what can I do for you, young man? Talk to me. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, baby. Well, what would you like to talk about? Pendants. Although I may be a school teacher, I have a certain flair about me, don't you think? And let me tell you, I love jewelry more than any anything else in the world. Hoo hoo, and why not? It's not like I can't afford it. Why, I have so much cash, I have my very own Oasis Cabana. But I happen to be after a very particular kind of jewelry. You see, lately I've been rather taken with collecting joy pendants. Those are very rare trinkets that you can't buy at any store. They're quite amazing. Why, the color and the shape. I feel, I feel as if I was destined to gather them. If you have any, please show them to me. Just set them to my Z or X. 
Okay, so 35. Ma. My dear, did you bring me joy pendants yet again? How many joy pendants do you have right now? 35? Why, to think a child like you would pay such a large tribute to me! Oh, your teacher is very impressed by your efforts, little dear. My whole body is numb with the thrill of excitement. So this is what pure joy feels like. I'll take precisely 20 of them, thank you. That will do just fine. My heart will be all a flutter. I don't know if you know, but 20 is my lucky number. And just as I promised, I will reward you for going out and collecting all these for me. I'm going to give you a wonderfully splendid thing. Close your eyes, dear. What is that thing? You got the cabana deed! It's written on yellowed parchment. It looks quite old. Alright, so yeah, if you actually look closely, that's the private oasis. We haven't really toured it, but yeah, it's got a stamp of a butterfly. So yes, it is definitely Miss Marie's. A joy pendant addict. Dum 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 dum! You see, although I am a, but a mere teacher, I own my very own cabana in a tropical oasis down south. But lately, I haven't made use of it at all. So you can have it! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's all right, dear. You can stop gazing in amazement now. Now that you have this deed, that cabana is all yours. You own it. So whatever you do, don't lose this piece of paper. I am getting on in age, and sea travel hasn't exactly agreed with me as of late. Now I can just stay here and relax as I continue my work with my chil with the children. And just so you know... You'll find the place southeast of here. It's on a tiny, lonely little isle near the Triangle Islands. From now on, it is your own little bachelor, bachelor pad. Good luck finding it. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. Let's see how the business M. Okay, so yeah, our own private bachelor pad! Uh, Scooty's probably too young to know what bachelor even means. But whatever. While we were here, we basically uh, deposited 20 of our joy pendants to the teach, and we basically got the deed to the private oasis. That is our ticket to one of the Triforce char charts. Which we will get in the next part. Okay, so uh, uh, considering it's the month of October, I think I should consider saving the chart on the ghost ship for last. It would be most appropriate to save it for Halloween. Alright, but for the other charts, let's start with the simpler ones first and then work our way to the more challenging ones. So that'll do it for this part. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, and if you would leave a comment and or like, that would be most appreciated. Until next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, this is Toon Gamer 23 signing out. And you gotta wonder what Miss Marie's uh, first... Uh... Uh... First reaction was to her very first joy pendants. Is it the very thing that inspired her to become a teacher or something? The woman's uh, an enigma, but so are many other characters in the Zeldaverse. So go figure.